Hi, I'm Helge Valopirta, and this one is about Solano SLO 100 versus Plexi Marshall 1959 handwire Plexi, which is married. It's mine. This one is uh, I borrowed it from Musics, a great music store here in Switzerland. Thank you for letting me borrow it. I've done a few videos about this, but basically it's kind of like uh, the specs that Eddie Van Halen had his 68 plex. So, so there's six CA7 power amp tubes, which are kind of like somewhere between EO34s and 606s, what the Soldano has. And then there's uh, some mid but mod. A uh, little bit something, so it's just a bit beefier and warmer. And I'm running it with a Variac actually at the moment at 159 volts. It's set to 160, but this is really sensitive, so I'm now getting 222 here. And this, you know, turns it into 159, and uh, everything is set up in this amp to run it with around 160. The biasing, whatnot, everything. First, let's go through the settings of both amps. Presence 6, base 6, sorry, Presence 8, base 8, mid 7, treble, hair above 8, volume 1, which is the first preamp gain or the high, high preamp gain, that's a hair above 8, volume 2, which is, uh, I'm not, I haven't jumped, but this actually, when you increase this, it bleeds in even though if you don't have that jump. Not as much, but just a tiny bit. That's at a uh, Three. Soldano overdrive channel preamp gain four base six mid five treble six vo master volume hair above five presence seven let's put it seven depth five. So the signal chain is guitar. This is a ESP Mirage Deluxe from eighties MG eighty one MG SA. It goes to my pedal board, where I'm using, on this demo, I'm using a 808 Screamer, it's just a clone of original TS-808. After that, it's for in Zool to get rid of the noise. I mean, I might use Chorus Ensemble on this one, probably will on the clean stuff. And then it goes into KG Audio Electronics Amp Switcher, into the amps, back to KG, out from KG to Fryage Power Station. I'm using that only now as a reactive load. Direct out from the Fryet goes to my Universal Audio Apple X8 audio interface. And from that it goes to the input of the Neural DSP's Soldano plugin. But I'm only using the cabinet. It's a fantastic cabinet. I really like it. And I mic it with the SN57 and Sennheiser MD421. Two virtual outs from that plugin goes into two virtual inputs of the UAD audio interface and then from there the signal goes to Pro Tools where I'm recording both of those virtual inputs. Mainly just to get a stereo delay sound which I'm gonna use on this one too. All right, let's start with the with the Soldano. The intro I played, I think I played with the Plexi. They are actually quite similar. So something um, in the uh, key of G. So yeah, this is Soldano with the Chief Screamer. Flex it. is also with the cheese screamer. Both are with the, with the screamer. Soldano. Thank you. 
they're quite similar. I sometimes need to, because I'm switching the control and the KHG with the MIDI switcher here. Like, it's like, which one I was playing? <laughs> anyway, you probably heard the differences. Plexi has, a, has the signature quack quack. <laughs> Soldano also has that. SLO is just the way I've said it. This is kind of how I've been running this. If you see in my previous videos, I've done quite a few videos with the SLO. Now, well, I have it as a loan from the, the musics. Uh, a little bit deeper, you know, tiny bit more modern, but clearly there is that qua qua plexi inspired thing. You know, back in the day, Plexi was pretty much the amp until uh, Soldano made his own amp. So yeah, the feel is pretty similar, you know, everything. Let's take the Tube Screamer off and let's start with the Plexi. Plexi now, I play the same stuff I play, just, but just without the overdrive. So it's a little bit, you know, not as hot. <laughs> Then the Soldano. Soldano, of course, has a lot more gain on top of Plexi. That's, well, I could have a little bit more because I'm only running it at 8.5. 8 <laughs> so there's one point half to go. So SLO has a lot, a lot of lot of gain, but what I I will usually like to set any amp, no matter how much gain there is, for this rock and roll tone, and then just boosting it over the top with an overdrive. I like the sound and the feel. Okay. Then let's check out some lead tones. I'm gonna engage the delay that this plugin has. It's a fantastic delay. And now while I'm running it to two tracks, it's a stereo delay. Let's engage the, the screamer and first the plexi. <laughs> Soldano. with the neck pickup. Let's engage the built-in boost for the neck pickup. Master world is all the, the power tubes are generating a lot of the gain. So it's, when I engage this boost, it's like almost it barely stays in control. And 
fantastic. So, really singing sustain well, kind of mid mid on on both plexi. You know that's kind of untamed beast because the non-master volume design. So the gain is generated a little bit from the preamps and but mostly on the on the power amp too. So it's a little different feel and and different. Uh, you know, gain structure than on the Soldano, where it's well, I'm running it pretty hot now, so the power chips will probably generate a lot of a bit of gain, but mostly the gain is coming from the preamp tubes from the preamp section. Okay, let's have the delay on, check the screamer off, and let's see clean sound. So I'm going to use the, the lead channel, the, well, the overdrive channel on the SLO as well. Let's see how, how it cleans up. So, first the, the plexi. Clean is Plexi Clean is one of the best in the world. All right, Soldano. But so is this. Plexi has more of that glassy, like the power tubes, they are really, really working. You can hear them. Yes, hello. Different dis design, different feel, a little bit different sound. Sound, uh, but the the. I, I really love them both. I mean, Plexis probably has been for a long time actually the amp that I, when I just noodle here at home, I really enjoy playing, playing with the Plexi, you know, adding overdrive. <laughs> The more gain the differences are not apparent, but with the less gain there is a different, a little bit different sound and feel. But I think in general, uh, like, well, let's be honest, probably most of the amps are inspired, well, just, you know, they've evolved from Plexi. Like Friedman's, Dave Friedman, his amps, he has said that his favorite amp is his, I think he has a 67 or 68 Plexi, and basically all of his designs is, are based on that amp. You know, basically just modding it. Uh, if I understood correct, that, that was the case with the Sol Soldano. He just wanted to, you know, improve, uh, have more what the Plexi already offered. 
a bit more flexibility, a couple of can channels, more gain. So, uh, you know, the, the in my opinion, the undisputed king of amps is and will be uh, Marshall Plexi. Uh, JCM 800, I love them too, but they're also uh, evolved. They've evolved from Plexi. They have a master volume and uh, actually not that much more gain, but you can get a similar amount of gain from JCM 800s with uh, more manageable volumes than from Plexi. So, Conclusion, both are great amps. I really enjoy playing with them both. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you found this comparison interesting and informative and maybe it helps you to decide whether you should uh, buy a Plexi or Soldano or maybe even both. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Take care. Bye.